back with more Buffy. This is episode 20 of season 5. Very, very excited to get into these final uh, three episodes of the season. Um, last episode was really, really good. Um, Tara's kind of had her brain sucked, which isn't ideal. Um, Glory knows Dawn is the key, also not ideal. Yeah, things aren't great, but when are things ever great in the Buffyverse? I guess, when you think about it like that. So, basically business as usual, you know, big threats, uh, tears, pain, as you do. So, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next with this whole story anyway, um, see what is going to happen, because Glory's actually right at, well, I was going to say at their doorstep, but she kind of tore the doorstep away, I guess. Um, so, to see how they're going to follow on from that cliffhanger, I'm very, very excited about. Um, and yeah, just to see where they're going to take the story for these final three episodes. Because surely she can't get her hands on Dawn now. Not when there's two episodes left. I feel like she's also, she's absolutely going to get Dawn at some point. I don't know if it's going to be yet. Or maybe the end of the next episode, I was kind of thinking. Um, or, I don't know, the start of the finale. But I feel like she's going to get her hands on Dawn. I just don't know when or how. And oh, it's a mess. Um... I don't know if Dawn's even going to survive the season. I, f I feel like that would be really harsh to, if um, like Dawn sacrifices herself or something. Um, especially, I would that would, would have been my prediction f for this season if Joyce hadn't died. I don't think they'd have Buffy go through losing her mum and then her sister. <laughs> so, who knows? Maybe. Buffy was born to suffer, apparently, so we'll have to wait and see. But I'm very, very excited to see where we're going next with this story. Um, things are really escalating and I'm very, very excited because um, I've really, really enjoyed the season so far. So let's get into the next one. Look at my girl go! She can hold off a fucking god, what badass. The Flash? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Regina. Yes! Oh, how bad. I knew you'd best glory eventually. I mean, all our years of training. Chuck hit her. Um. You threw it at her? <laughs> so let's just not be here when she starts knocking. Run away. Finally, a sensible plan. Damn, yeah. That's not what she meant. This is serious. Only because of her divine greatness. You mean her divine failure, don't you? And you should feel honored to be bathed in. Oh, yeah, I'm thrilled. Especially with the part where she gets her key back and I cease to exist. True, this so so appealing for Yeah. Is this Breaking Bad? <laughs> What's he doing here? <laughs> Just up for a jaunt. Daddy's putting the hammer down. Mm. I am here for this. Season six is just them on a road trip. Shy. Yes, I suppose it is. Firefly? Pretty little girl, she's shiny too. Oh. Make sure he's comfortable. The monks. I'll be honest, I'd forgotten about these lot. The huh. Hey, Gramps, bloody step on it. Step on what? Shouldn't <laughs> tricycle do more power. That was Ander. Is anybody else queasy? Snacks! Uh, the secret to any successful migration. Oh my god. Who's up for some tasty fried meat products? Hey! Oh! Tara, no! Oh. What did I tell you? Oh. I'm sorry. She, she didn't need to. She, she doesn't know what she said. Spike understands. <laughs> no biggie. Look, the skin's already stopped smoking. <laughs> Evil nasties are supposed to flee from me, not the other way around. You're not fleeing, you're moving at a brisk pace. Wait, they refer to It's not Buffy the Glory Slayer. I don't blame her. It just keeps coming. Glory, Riley, Tara. Oh. I know. At least things can't get any crazier, 
right? <laughs> oh dear. You had to say it. No, this is your fault for saying that. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. Weapons! Hello! You're driving one! Don't hit the horsies! We won't! <laughs> Aim for the horsies. Oh no! Watch out! <gasps> now might be a good time for something heroic. Ouch. Xander! Watch! <laughs> Sam is just trying not to throw up. <laughs> Hello! From a giant praying mantis to fighting the mics of the round table on top of an RV. I hope I didn't rent this van. <laughs> oh! Damn, that guy's dead. Whoopsie! <gasps> oh shit! Could have gone better. Ow! Easy with it, delicates. They'll heal. Florence probably that girl will rescue. Okay. Oh god. No one else, you bastards. <sighs> this season's fucking relentless. I can't take it. Oh, bastard. Oh yeah, it's Chip, of course. Shit. Arms, raise the wall. Whoa. What's the story with these role-playing rejects? Let's find out. Ooh. Giles. If only he were not, you know, bleeding out. He is too dangerous to be allowed to exist. No You're too dangerous to be allowed to exist. Into. There's nothing to fear, my brother. The beast may have taken your mind. There's plenty to fear. I swear to you, she will never know the taste of your heart. Oh! Well, that's nice. Clerks! I want the witch's barrier down. Now! They're clearly trying, buddy. I wish they wouldn't. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Everything. I'm watching. Everything I could have hoped for. Fuck you, season five. Fuck you. You better not fucking die, I swear to Jesus. I swear to glory. One of my friends was hurt when you attacked us. And ten of my men are dead. Honorable men. Good. Shall we battle? You killed one of them. I need to ask you a really big favor. Oh no, <laughs> for fuck's sake. Oh my god. Take what I can get. <laughs> Thank you for coming. My pleasure. Don't think you're going to be thanking him in a minute. Something. You know those things will kill you. <laughs> oh. Seldom a harbinger of glad tidings. Seldom. I don't trust people who say seldom. What do you know of the beast? Strong. Fast. He falls in love with Belle. Banished to this lower plane of existence. Forced to live and eventually die, trapped within the body of a mortal. A newborn male created as her prison. Oh, who could it be? I now, I've seen so they're going to have to kill Ben. Going on in the hair chest department. Once the key is activated, it won't just open the gates to the beast dimension. It's going to open all the gates. The walls separating reality ah. will crumble. That the might be a problem. Bleed into each other. Guess cutting school doesn't seem so bad now, huh? <laughs> it's not you. You know that. But it's in me, isn't it? 
Something inside so strong. Oh, no, you shouldn't have added the promise. Oh, no. You can save all their lives by ending one. The little girl. Shut up. The key. Shut up. Destroy it. I said shut up. The will of the beast will be broken. She will fade. A distant memory. Oh, oh and that would tempt him. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's just the way life is. Okay, give it. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, it's Gregor. Oh, it was Gregor. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's right, bitch. Oh, never mind, bitch. Oh. Well, fuck. It's not your fault. <sighs> okay, um, really liked that episode a lot. It, it felt like another very different kind of episode, the fact that they were kind of travelling a lot for most of it. And, you know, I'm so used to having episodes just set in Sunnydale, it's weird to kind of really see us not be in Sunnydale for the majority of it. Um, and that was very interesting. Man, this season's kicking my ass. Um, it just doesn't stop. I, I even, I'm not even sure I have two episodes left. I feel like I have another 22 to go. Um, that is one thing about season five for me. This is the first season where I've really been feeling like it's one cohesive story, even though I'm not. I'm like watching it in like two or three episode kind of chunks at a time. Um, it still just feels like one long story um, strand. And I, I know that's kind of been the case with previous seasons, because obviously they have like long running arcs and stuff. But I don't know, I just feel like they really nailed it this season with making every single episode feel important and unnecessary. And just so much has gone on this season and it's insane, but it, it's not overwhelming because it's just flowed so naturally. Um, so they've really kind of nailed that so far, and this, I imagine they won't fuck it up in the next two episodes, but that's how I'm feeling so far, like, Riley leaving was like only ten episodes ago, and I think how different it feels already, like, season five has just been crazy. I mean, we had fucking Dracula at the start of this season, I was like, well, there's no way they can get any crazier than having freaking Dracula show up in the show. Now look at us, we have, you know, Knights of the Round Table getting killed by a woman who always wears red and shares a body with a man who was a nurse and got fired. And <laughs> man. But yeah, really, really great episode. Got on a bit of a tangent there, but there we are. Um, really, really liked the feel of like this road trip kind of vibe and just seeing this group of people kind of drop everything and put what's important first, which I really, really loved. Um, Spike joined them, very wholesome, provided quite a few nice scenes in this episode as well. Um, I love the interaction with Xander and Spike. Um, I kind of, that stood out to me because I don't think we get a whole lot of that pairing. Um, obviously they kind of, they always make snide remarks to each other during scenes and stuff, but it's often they're in group scenes together, not having that like, individual interactions. Um, and it was nice that Xander uh, helped him light his cigarette, I thought that was kind of sweet of him. Um, of course, they went straight back to like, you know, I hate you, right? Um, but I feel like Xander wouldn't have made that gesture with Angel, you know? Um, so that's something, I guess. And the fact that Spike was just there letting his hands be cut to bits with a sword um, just to keep someone at bay, you know, one less person trying to attack Dawn. Um, that was great. And just the rapport he has with Dawn, I think, works really well. And yeah, we just saw a lot of different kind of um, moments that I really appreciated. And just seeing how much this group of people have kind of grown um, as individuals, but also as this collective. And they just, they're a family. And I, I just love how seamlessly they can work together. You know, whether they're making that force field spell. Um, Tara, um, obviously still going through the motions of what Glory did to her, but everyone's still understanding of her. That was another spike moment I really liked, actually. 
Um, and Tao like opened the blinds a bit and Spike got a bit burnt. Completely understood that he was like, oh yeah, it's fine, whatever. Because he knows that it's just what Glory's done to Tara. Love that little moment. Also love the moment where Anya offered to help Willow try and feed Tara. Very tiny little moment. Loved it. Um, Anya bringing like pots and pans to cook things with. Very, very um, endearing. And I just liked the idea of like, now I'm going on the run, and it really emphasises the threat of glory as well. The fact that Buffy was like, we well, just need to run away now that she knows. Um, that was really, really cool. Um, and just seeing the desperation and just the hits that keep on coming for um, everyone. But, you know, I like how they're really showing the impact that's having on Buffy. Um, like that final little moment, she just like, it's almost like she gave up a bit there. Um, everything was blanking out because her sister had been taken. It's like, well, that's it. Um, which is very interesting to kind of see that side of Buffy, you know, she's normally the one when she gets knocked down, you know, by a demon or a vampire or whatever, um, a god in most cases this season, gets straight back up, carries on with the fight, this time of her own accord, she just went, <coughs> sat down, um, and I think her face was like, well, we're fucked, um, and that was very interesting to see, and I think that really does raise the stakes going into these next two episodes, um, because even Buffy, I don't think she thinks they can win. Um, hopefully they do. Um, but yeah, I thought that was very interesting. And who did she, Buffy, had the scene with? It might have been, oh, it was, I think it was Buffy and Dawn had a really nice scene. Where, you know, Buffy was kind of recounting all these things that have happened to her recently. Giles said in the episode, you know, she's had quite a rough time of it. Um, to put it fucking lightly. Um, but yeah, she lost her mum, she lost Riley, all of that craziness and all that sadness um it's really beating her down i think it's interesting to see that as much as the show is called buffy the vampire slayer it's nice that we kind of get moments like that last little bit where she's just like oh my god or we need to run away because while she's the slayer she's also human i i think sometimes she has to forget that because it's her duty to um she can't let herself be beaten down like any normal human would um, because that's not what her role is but sometimes that's going to happen because she is human even if she, she probably wants to pretend that that's not the case sometimes because that would probably make her job a lot easier um, so I loved how they were kind of portrayed Buffy in this episode and everything she's gone through kind of finally hitting home um, and hopefully this is kind of the low moment before she can get back up again like she normally does, you know, so hopefully that's what that is. Um, but I really liked how they kind of showed that in this episode um, and showed all these little connections between all these Scoobies that we all love so much. Um, so yeah, that was great. Um, oh, the Giles and Buffy scene? Oh boy, oh boy. Um, damn. I kind of been like, okay, we've had the really sad moments of season five out of the way now. I think we're going to be good. It's going to be action and excitement for the rest of the season. Nope. No, no. Take my heart out. Um, just seeing Giles. We've always seen the adoration and the love he has for Buffy. We've seen that since basically season one. Um, even in the last episode when um, he was talking to her about, you know, Dawn needs you to do this, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, yeah, I can do this, I can do this. And he's like leading her out and like with his hands on his shoulders. And I was editing the YouTube cut for that um, and got to that scene. Just, I was like, oh my God, look at the love and adoration in his eyes. And he's like guiding Buffy through. Um, and just to see him, you know, say how proud he was of her, which we already knew, but to hear him actually say it, it's just so wholesome. And the fact that he was hurt as well, he probably maybe thought he was dying. Um, so he was like, well, what if I'm dying, what do I need to say to Buffy? And he wanted her to know how proud he was of her. And I'm getting emotional again. <laughs> Fuck. Um, and I think Buffy really needed that in that moment as well because she's probably at her lowest right now. And everything that was happening, the fact that she, she hated herself, I think, for having to run away, she feels like a failure. Um, and will probably even more feel like that now that Dawn's been taken. Um, but at that moment, she saw herself as like this failure who just ran away. That's not what the Slayer should do, blah, blah, blah. Um, and Giles was like, I'm proud of you. I think she really needed to hear that. And I love that she got to hear that from him. Um, and hopefully she can hold on to that and let that power her through 
um, whatever's going to happen next with Glory. Um, so yeah, that was such a powerful scene. I absolutely loved it. I, I, I've always loved the Buffy and Giles relationship. It's had some of the best scenes. Uh, one of my favourite scenes of the entire show is still in Passion, when um, she like pulls him out of the place that's all on fire after he goes after Angelus um, and just gives him a right thump. And, you know, he's like, you, you can't leave me. I can't do this on my own. I just I love their scene and obviously Helpless is a big episode for them as well. That's one of my favourite episodes of season three. Um just the love and the fatherly bond that they share. It's just so precious. I love that relationship so much. I love that they got that scene with Giles being hurt and everything. Hopefully he's gonna be okay. Like I'm not I I will not take that well if Giles dies. <laughs> I will not take it well fucking all. Um it's bad enough when Joyce died. So yeah. Um that whole scene was very, very precious to me. I absolutely adored that. Um, I liked getting more answers about exactly what Glory's plan is, exactly what Dawn's role as the key is, um, how this whole thing with Ben happened as well. So it seems to have happened to him ever since he was born, which is a bad break. Um, but it did seem like it's only maybe fairly recently that Glory has actually kind of found a way to break out. Imagine the first time that happened to Ben. What a fucking identity crisis. Like, holy shit. What if he was just, like, in the middle of class or something? Like, college or whatever. Suddenly he just turns into this woman. Oh, man. That would have been quite the shock for him, I imagine. Um, so, yeah, I liked getting lots of answers about that and filling in those gaps I've been wondering about for a long time. Um, when Buffy called Ben in to, like, help Giles, I was like, oh, shit, and that whole thing. But at least they kind of know now. Um, they saw... Ben transform into Glory so they know how that's connected um, and the fact that there is a chance they can kill Glory but they'd have to kill Ben not sure how I feel about that um, the ends would probably have to justify the means but Ben on his own I actually don't I actually quite like the guy um, and it, he didn't ask to kind of be what he is the same way Dawn didn't ask to be this key Buffy didn't ask to be the Slayer um, I like how that's kind of all linked with those characters as well I and mean, I think that kind of makes sense why Ben and Buffy could establish that sort of connection anyway. Um, but getting lots of answers about that whole thing was really cool. Um, I do think Ben is just a genuinely nice guy because, um, you know, he could have killed um, Dawn in that moment when the guy was telling him about it um, to be free of glory, but he, he didn't. Um, but is he going to be collateral damage? I don't know. If that's the only feasible way they have of killing her, they might have to take that option. And I'm like, oh, God. But, you know, the moral ambiguity is something we're, we've kind of seen before in the Buffyverse. So we'll see what happens with that. I am intrigued, but I liked getting all those answers about it. That was great. Um, the Brotherhood, honestly, I could take them or leave them. Um, I don't really give a shit about their claim to the key. I, d I would have been happy if it was just Glory going after them and her minions and the whole Ben thing. I don't think we really needed the Brotherhood on top of that. I feel like they were... They were kind of created for exposition scene in this episode where they just told everyone what was going on and gave them all the answers. I feel like that was their kind of sole purpose. Didn't really care about them outside of that. I do th I do think, of all the things I've seen in, the, in Buffy, it is kind of weird to me that just people like dressed in chain mail and stuff, I'm like, nah, does that really fit in? Um, but again, that's kind of a minor quibble because um, they're all dead now, um, so who cares? Um, <laughs> But yeah, they gave us some answers about the mystery, so I suppose it makes sense why they were in this season. And they didn't have like a huge presence overall. Um, obviously a lot more focus was given to the monks in the earlier episodes and Glory and her minions. So that's the way it should have been, so I'm glad that is how it worked out. Um, but still, they gave us some answers, so that's cool. Um, and yeah, I liked how they continued to show the kind of Buffy and Dawn sisterly bond that they've kind of formed, just talking about all their shared pain and shared loss. Um, and just demonstrating how far all these people will go for each other, even Spike included in that, you know, how far he went to like help them and protect Dawn and everything. Um, granted, if it was like Xander or Anya maybe who was in trouble, um, I don't think Spike would like fight to the death to save them by any means. Um, he's an evil vampire, but he has that connection with Dawn and I think he would fight to the death for her, which is very wholesome. Um, so yeah, that was a very intense episode, a very different sort of episode with all the different locations. I really liked it though. Um, I liked getting all the answers we got, the character moments I will treasure forever. 
Um, that Buffy and Giles little moment. Ooh, boy. Um, and yeah, Spike has some great moments. Um, Anya has some great moments. Willow with her spell. Still feels so bad for poor Tara, bless her. Um, hopefully they can fix that um, and undo it. I don't know if they kill Gloria. Like, undoes all the brain sucking she's done. So everyone would be okay. Um, that would be nice. Maybe that would be what happens. I don't know. Um, and yeah, everyone finding out about the Ben and Glory kind of thing as well was cool. So yeah, really, really great episode. Um, can't wait to see where we go with these next two episodes. And the fact that Glory now has Dawn isn't ideal. So the stakes are probably higher than ever. And I'm very, very excited to see where we go with it. Um, but that is the end of this Spectreverse cycle. Um, the next cycle of reactions will be the next two episodes of Buffy, so I'm going to be finishing off Season 5, um, and then I'll be getting back in and finishing off Season 2 of Angel. So, very, very excited to see how they're going to wrap up this season um, very, very soon. And yeah, can't believe we're nearly at the end of Season 5. We nearly only have two seasons left. <sighs> Terrifying. Um, and yeah, I believe the finale of Season 5 is also the 100th episode. So it's crazy to think that I've done a hundred Buffy reactions. I've already done over a hundred Buffyverse reactions, obviously. Um, I think that was an Angel episode, I think, my 100th Buffyverse reaction. I can't remember exactly when it was, but it will be my 100th Buffy reaction, which is insane. Um, hell of a journey. I'm glad we still have two full seasons to go there, um, yet, though, for Buffy, um, and even beyond that for Angel. So far from over, but... We are finishing Buffy this year, guys. Probably not Angel. I feel like Angel might bleed into next year, maybe. Only just a bit. But I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. Um, it's taken me about four months to get through Buffy Season 5 and Angel Season 2 at the same time this time around. So I think we'll definitely be finishing up Buffy this year, which is terrifying. Because um, June will be two years since I started it. So it's been a hell of a journey. And I'm excited to see where the chapter that is season five will be wrapping up um and to see what's going to happen because i i am aware that from s season six they moved to a different network and i think they may have treated this as like potentially the final season um so that's going to be interesting to see how they go about wrapping this up um i am intrigued so yeah very very excited to finish off this season in the next cycle though um i hope you're excited to see those reactions as well and yeah, until then, thanks for watching.